Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how to make femni seeds with a silver thisulfate solution. We've covered already the most common way to make femni seeds, and that's with colloidal silver due to how easy it is to buy or make it. However, the process of converting a female plant to a hermaphrodite plant with the use of colloidal silver is quite involved as it requires a daily application. And because of this, you also need to use a large batch of colloidal silver each time to convert a plant. So, if you want a simpler way to convert your plants into a hermaphrodite, or if you want to convert a large batch of plants, then a silver thisulfate solution might be right for you. Silver thisulfate solution, or STS for short, is a lot more concentrated than colloidal silver, so it requires both less applications to your plants, around once a week or so, and this also means that just one batch of STS can easily convert a ton of plants. The drawback though is that making STS requires two ingredients that are both harder to find than colloidal silver and can't be made at home, so it has to be bought. These ingredients in their solid form are also quite harmful if inhaled and can burn the skin on contact. So the mixing process will require a basic PPE of gloves, safety glasses, and face masks. Although given what's been going on in the world lately, you might already have these on hand. The next thing to consider is that storage of STS is also an issue as this needs to be stored in a cool place like a refrigerator. But if you're prepared to handle these hurdles, STS is extremely user-friendly to use once it's made. This is because STS only needs to be applied to a plant every few days or so. And let's sort of dive into this now, because just like with colloidal silver, there are a number of different recommendations on when to start spraying, as well as how often to spray and when to stop spraying. A quick disclaimer before we start though. Personally, I've only tried utilizing STS a handful of times at this point, which is far less than my experience with colloidal silver. But I have tried it with multiple application methods, and with the results I got from these tests, I'm pretty comfortable giving a recommendation for how to use it. So, as for the timeline on when the plant needs to be sprayed for the first time, there's typically three different times that people will recommend. Up to a week before the plant flips the flower, the day the plant flips the flower, or up to a week after the plant flips from flower. In my testing, I've tried both spraying five days before flower, on the day of flower, as well as five days after flower, and all three have been successful in converting the female plant into a hermaphrodite. Next, let's talk about how often STS needs to be applied, and people recommend anywhere between five to 10 days. I've tested five days, seven days, and 10 days apart. And again, all of them had a 100% success rate. Finally, as for when to stop spraying, I've tried both stopping once the pollen sacs have appeared on the plant, as well as a week later when the pollen sacs have matured a little bit more. And I've also tried continuing the spray routine all the way to when the first pollen sacs have fully matured and opened. And again, all three methods produced viable pollen. So 
what does this mean exactly? First of all, it feels like STS does have a better success rate when compared with colloidal silver. Although this could still be anecdotal evidence given my small sample size. These tests do show that STS is a lot more forgiving than colloidal silver as the wide range of acceptable application times allow for some variance in your routine. And if I were to recommend a spray schedule, I'd say to start the spray regimen a few days before you decide to flower, and then continue to spray the plant once a week to make it easy to remember, and stop spraying once the pollen sacs have almost fully matured, but before they start to open. When it comes to application, STS is very similar to that of colloidal silver in that you want to do a heavy spray on the plant to the point where the water starts to beat up. And be sure to do this either in the night cycle or right before the lights turn off to prevent the leaves from getting burned. Also remember that the application of STS, just like colloidal silver, is localized which means that only the areas of the plant that have been in contact with the STS will start to grow pollen sacs. This means that if half the plant is sprayed and the other half of the plant is not, a plant can pollinate itself to create feminized seeds without the use of a second plant. Finally, plants that have STS applied to it should never be consumed and after the plant has been used for its pollen or harvested for seeds, it needs to be thrown away. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.